Welcome everybody to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to my subscribers that has been with, with me from the start and welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with me, with us, growing a big family that we are by hitting that subscription button and the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads. Up top, there's three little buttons you can click there, slow down the video to the speed you'd like. Also turn your CC for closed caption on every stitch I read will be, not read, every stitch I say will, you can read down here and take notes. In the description box, I do have a link. You can just click there and it shows you how you can do all of these things in two minute video that I have created. I also want to thank every single one of you for 2022 that had came through to help the women in need of thread that have sent thread themselves or have donated money for them. Thank you so much. I am so grateful and so are they. I also want to thank the women that have tagged me along creating my pieces. Thank you so much. And for the ones that are creating, please don't forget to tag. I do have a private crochet group. You are more than welcome to join in. Be part of the family with us there as long as you have a profile. There's too many scammers and too many frauds going on with the crochet groups nowadays. They're getting in there and they're scamming everybody out of their information through uh, mobiles or computers. They have links that says cut or bit. Don't open those links. These are hackers. They're scammers. Stay away from that. For that reason, my group is private. I also have a Facebook um, crochet page you can follow. I have Instagram and I have TikTok. All of these links are below in the description box. So thank you so much, everybody. And let's get started with the tutorials. I hope you're going to enjoy uh the tutorials for 2023. I have just launched two videos that I have started already 2023. So stay in good health, stay in good harmony with everyone, and don't be hard on yourself. You can create all things as long as you set your mind to it. Okay? I send you much loves and hugs. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to do a very short tutorial on this daisy, which is a little bit different than this one. This one is done with triple crochet. And because I have created smallest doily for that set, so I have the small, the medium, and the smallest. And because it's smaller than the smallest, which is this one, Okay, this is the small one I have the tutorial on, and I needed to create a smaller one, as you can see, very small for a small area. Perfect for like when you're using with, you know, little candles, decorations, or any other thing for that matter. And so this is done only with double crochet. And to make it easier not to go back and forth into links, I'm going to do the leaf and the um, small... Um, so I'll show you the difference as I'm doing a tutorial on the small one and the little bit bigger one. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And eventually um, I'll do the smallest tutorial on this. Um, oops, not this one. On this smallest doily, which is, again, smaller than all the other ones. It's just a perfect side, I believe. This one, because that one is 33. If I'm not mistaken, centimeters, and this one is 26. Okay, so thank you for being here. Welcome newcomers. Please give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. Share if you can, and to subscribe, uh, of course, extremely important also. And of course, you know it's all free. Hit that bell notification to be notified of my new uploads. And let's get started on these small daisies and little leaves. Okay, everyone. So I'm using a 2.75 hook. This one is the small one to tuck in loose ends, of course. My 2.75 hook and a pair of scissors. These are 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal threads, but you can use Aunt Lydia number three. So we're going to do a slip stitch knot and nine chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and nine. Now, if you wanted your leaf bigger, then you'd go 11, 13 odd numbers, okay? So I'm going to skip my first one and come and do a single. My second one, half double crochet. My third one here, I'm doing double crochet. My fourth one, I'm doing triple. So this would be like half of the leaf. Now we're going to repeat the same thing on this side with triple, with double crochet, with half, and with a single. So on this side, we're repeating the same thing. So triple. Next space. Double, half, whoops, and single. Okay, we're going to do one chain. We're going to come right back in where we did the single with a single. We're following the same way, going backwards on the other side of the leaf. So half. On the double crochet, we're doing double crochet. Next one, we're doing triple. Next one, triple again. Oops, and next one, we're going to do double crochet. Next one, we have the half, and then the last one, we have the single, and I'm just going to come right at the edge here with a slip stitch and two chain. That's just to give me the advance of gluing it on, so I'm going to cut the thread a little bit longer just to get it through these little loops back here so we can have it secure. Now if you wanted these leaves to be uh, with a string like the stem longer then you'd continue to do chain for the size that you would like to have this leaf come out of your patterns um, into your flowers. Okay. So I'm just pulling this through some of the loops back here just to secure it and so we have our leaf and now we're going to do the the flower so I'm going to do the magic circle but if you still have a hard time so we're going to put I put it into my two fingers because it gives me space enough to grab it. I'll put my thumb there, turn my fingers a bit, take my thread inside. So I'm just making a knot and bring my thread into position to start my stitch. I'm just going to pull the string because I don't want it too wide. I need to have position of it. So I'm, I did one chain. I'm coming back in and doing a single. This is my first single inside of this space I'm going to do 11 more singles so I'll have a total with the first one I'll have 12 singles total okay we're doing the small uh, daisy not the big one like I showed you okay I've done my 12 singles I'm going to pull in my string to close up this hole Now, if you can't do the um, magic circles, I know some of you are still having a hard time. We want this hole very close, so you'll have to do a four chain stitch only and fit your 12 singles in there. Now, I'm changing colors, so I'm just going to slip stitch this last stitch there. Grab my smaller hook, and I'm going to bring this to the back. 
Now the one from my magic circle for the one the people that did the magic circle. So I'm coming in between the loops back here and I'm pulling through the loops so it can stay secure. Now normally these flowers and leaves I like to glue them on. Some people like to sew them on. By all means, if you like to sew them on, well, they're more secure. Good for you. I do mine with hot gun glue, and I think it's just perfect for me. Um, it has to be the transparent glue, or if you use the white one, eventually when you wash, it's going to come out. I think there's something in that transparent uh, glue that um, it goes well with the fibers. It, it sticks well with the fibers, I should say. So we're going to do the small daisy. I'm going to do a slip stitch knot. And I'm going to come in any place here of the single, any single. I'm going to do a single. And I'm going to try to hide my little thread left over. So I like to push it in between my other ones. I'm going to do two chain. And on the next space, I'm going to do three double crochets together in the same space. So I have my second and I have my third. Still trying to hide that little thread there so I can stay secure. So now I have a total of four. A single, two, chain, and one. The next space, three double crochets together, chain two. And on the next space, I'm coming in with a single to close off my first paddle. And then again, one, two chain, coming into the next space and create my three double crochets in the same space again. So this is my second paddle. Then we'll have six paddles all together. Two chain, next space, single. So I have my two paddles already. Two chain again. Next space, double crochet, same space, double crochet, and again, third double crochet in the same space. Chain two into the next space with a single. So I have three. I'm going to continue on until I have six all the way to the end of this uh, flower. So I have one, two, three, four, five paddles already. I close in my single. I'm going to do my two chain next space, my three double crochets in the same space, two chain again, and I'm coming in my last single on the yellow. And then where we have the first single of the white that we went up on the paddle. I'm going to slip stitch, cut my thread a little bit longer, and pull my thread through. And you have your six paddles, okay? So I'm going to pull my thread back here in between these loops. Even though we sew or we glue them on, they're secure. But you want to make sure that you go through some of the loops here with the string just to be on the safe side. If it's too short, sometimes um, it can get away, right? So I'm just going through some of the loops back here, and then we can cut off the excess. So now we have the smaller doilies. Remembering that the thinner you go with your thread or yarn, the smaller it will be. Okay, so now we're going to go into the bigger do uh, daisy. So this is no different. We, we will do the uh, 12 singles. So one chain and then first single, second, third, fourth, until you have your 12 singles. So I've done my 12 singles. I'm going to come into the 
first single we did with a slip stitch. I'm going to cut my thread a little bit longer. Pull my, my string through it and I'm going to close up my center hole here. We want a small hole. We don't want an open hole. Bring this thread to the back from the one we just cut and grab this one and again do the same thing come into the loops back here with the smaller hook so you don't poke big hooks into your motive and just pass the thread in the single loops back here that we started so i'm okay with that that's tight enough that's not going to go anywhere Then I'm going to grab this one here and just pull it through also. A couple of loops back here just to make sure that nothing comes apart. And I'm okay with that. Okay, so we got the little centerpiece here. Now we're going to do the paddles. So we're going to do the slip stitch knot you know that never counts as a stitch for anything right so we're going to come in anywhere and of course my stitch is so tight and do a single again pull my thread to this side so i can hide it so we're going to do one two and three remember that the small one we did only two chain this one we're doing three and we're going to do triple so you have three on your hook into the next space we're going to take out once twice three times and again we're going to repeat the same thing take out once twice three times and again take out once twice three times so now we have three triples in the same space i'm going to do one two and three chain and I'm coming into the next one and I'm going to close it in with single so I have my first paddle and again one two three triple so we turn twice on our hook so we'll have three and again And again, so I'll have three triples in the same space. So your daisy becomes bigger. One, two, three. Into the next space with a single. So now I have my two petals. One, two, three. And repeat the same thing. Next space. Take out once, twice, three times. Again, into the same space, take out once, twice, three times, and one more time. Take out once, twice, three times, one, two, three chain. Oops. Come into the next space and single. So now we have three paddles. Okay, I'm going to continue and I'll meet you at the end. So I'm on my last one, one, two, and three, and I'm coming in the last space, and I'm going to close it in, and then come into my first single we did with a slip stitch, cut your thread a little bit longer, pull it through, tighten it up well. And tuck in the leftover loose ends of your thread. This is perfect to use on any pattern you'd like. I think it gives it such charm on the patterns. From big to small, it doesn't matter. You can do a whole bunch of them in different colors. Use it. What I usually do in my spare time, which really rare, I have spare time, but anyway, I like to prepare myself with leaves and flowers. This way, when I'm doing a project, I just go into my bag and 
pick the colors I want of flowers and leaves, different flowers, different shapes, and I'm good to go for my patterns. So that's something you should uh, do for yourselves. It makes things easier and faster when you're ready to create a pattern. You can just grab it out of your little bag wherever you put them and and that's it. So you can see the difference on the flower. And I think it just makes a beautiful little little flower. So you can pretty much style it whatever way you want. Or even from here. It's up to you. You know, and then have another leaf. that I had one somewhere, but I don't. You can style it like this too. And you can have... I mean, there's so many ways to go about this, right? Okay, so this was a fast tutorial. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you on the smallest doily tutorial, which is coming up next. Thank you, everyone. Until next time, God bless. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I send you much hugs.